Hey guys, it's Kralas, and welcome back everybody to City Skylines. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do enjoy this, make sure you smack the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section, all right? So previous episode, we built this construction site zone site, I think, right? And I love it. <laughs> I know, I should not say it, but I love it. I really do enjoy this. There was a lot of feedback on this uh, from you guys. We might come back here one day and do some minor tweaks and changes and whatnot. But for the moment, man, just look at it. It just has a nice fit to the city. And it just adds life, I guess, even though it's pretty dead. <laughs> but it has life. It has detail and decoration to the city. So today I've been sitting here. I've opened up City Skylands a few hours ago. And I've been sitting and thinking on what to do. It's not that I don't have ideas. I just have, I guess, too many of the ideas. And, you, and I just don't know where to continue, where to start. Like, we, what we should do is actually fill in some gaps and whatnot. But then again, that's not fun. Well, it's fun, but I'm a projects man. I've told you guys that before, right? I'm a projects man. So I have a little, like, idea for today's episode. So I was on the Steam Workshop, and uh, believe me, I can spend hours and 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 hours on the Steam Workshop searching for stuff. And I found some stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna combine. We're gonna hit two flies in an, one hit. Two birds in one hit. What should you call, say? Two flies, two birds. Doesn't matter. Let's just kill the birds, all right? So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do... Everybody, behold. Zoom in. Search. We're gonna do... Cemetery, I think it's called. Cemetery. We're gonna do a graveyard cemetery slash park. I, I know. Might be such a stupid idea, but usually when I've seen like like big city cemeteries, for example, they've been containing a little bit of a park element as well. Like people can go in there. There's like a few benches you can just go through, and especially like in a big city environment, like just going through a, a big big uh, cemetery in a park, it's gonna be just fabulous, all right? So two birds in one hit, two flies. That's a matter, all right? So we're gonna be using some of the cemetery blocks. I did grab them, and if you grab them on the Steam Workshop, just be careful, all right? Because if I could, um, if I open up this mod, Control M, the Mesh Info mod, all right? And I will search here for the cemetery blocks. Cemetery, cemetery block, I think they're called, all right? Some of them have very high trees values, so triangles, all right? So be careful, because a cemetery will contain a lot of those as you can see i think i might be using those four by four maybe two by twos i think i had some eight by eight but they were like redonkulous even though i guess it's kind of kind of makes sense because i mean they're they like the four the size like well four times the size or two times the size or whatnot of the ones we've got but i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of keep it keep it like light so make sure that if you grab something and you're gonna place it like a lot of it make sure you grab mesh info and ch just check out some some of the triangle uh, the uh, values over here because sometimes they're just too high and it's gonna lag your pc or game to bits and well mine kind of lags already so we're gonna be using them also what i found is really nice Guys, if you're building a cemetery, this is a has to have. Where is it and what is it called? It is this one over here, the classic crematorium. I mean, if this is not a beauty, I don't know what beauty is. Look at this building. Like, this is such an amazing fit. It's going to be such an amazing fit, especially like in a big city cemetery. Just squeeze it in somewhere. Classic crematorium, I think it was called, right? So that is something I'm going to be using, and then we're going to see where this takes us. I don't think I'm going to complete it today, because there's going to be a lot of graves placing, but we're going to see where we get and how it's going to look, and then I'm going to leave it up to you guys for suggestions and feedback. Also, I grabbed a new amazing train called the... Uh, I think it is the GS2 or GS4 by... It's a brand new thing. It's a steam locomotive by BS. Quickly, quickly, <laughs> Hausen. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I think it's B is quickly uh, Hausen, and it looks beautiful. I'm just gonna see if we can find one, because it's even uh, like with some mods, it's even kind of like pooping out some some of the smoke. B is quickly Hausen. Yes, 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 yes. I think it is. So do search for that on the Steam Workshop. I think it's a GS4, but I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a GS2. Man, where do we see it? It's not this one. It's most definitely not this one. This one is a little bit of a reversing uh, type of deal. Going back, okay. Man, I need to find it. Now when I said it, we need to find it. Is it this one? It's got it. No, it's not this one. Man. However, it looks kind of cool. 
just swishing by in the nature here. But man, where is it? Is it, is it this one? No, it's not. However, still looks cool. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting a little bit wonky here in the systems. I love it. Man, where the crap is it? I would give my left... No, I'm not going to say it. Here it is. I found it, everybody. Okay, take a peek at this and embrace. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming very shortly here. Is it the GS2 or GS4? Be... <laughs> I'm sorry, but man, I like trains. And look at this. I think it is the GS4. Oh, man. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> How amazing isn't that? Okay, we need to do some tweaks over here, everybody. Man, all right. So there's a there is a there's a mod which which enables the, the the smoke particles and whatnot. That is so sweet. The coast drain. So this is a California bound, I guess. Maybe not. Could be the east coast. But I think it's the west coast. Man, it's such a beauty. Like, look at the fantastic detail on it. Bye. It's super long as well. That was that. But anyhow, everybody, let's let's get to work. Let's make a park slash park slash park slash uh, cemetery graveyard, all right? And I think I'm going to do it here. Because what I want to have is... Maybe even incorporate this lake somehow. We will see. All right. Enjoy the time lapse. I will be back as soon as possible.
thing about happiness is you only know you had it. It's gone, gone, gone. You may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. It's only looking back that you really understand that's what happiness felt like.
and welcome back everybody i love it have i said that before i'm so sorry i, I do like it all right this is my favorite view is from this angle into that building however the whole city is in the background so the the lag is just unbearable but oh gosh it looks the building itself just look at it now that when the sun is lighting it up oh man what a beautiful building and a cool thing about this as well as those fountains around here it's kind of like a little sitting spot for people man that is so sweet so people you've seen the time lapse right oh by the way look at this her hearse horse hearse <laughs> One of those old school ones, uh, which is I gra grabbed as a prop. It is beautiful. It is kind of like for, for a building, which I've added as well, which uh, we're gonna get to, right? But what a beautiful hearse. And then we have the cat Cadillacs as well. So I've been placing graves and graves and graves and graves and more graves and even more graves. It has become this fantastic looking grave park, a cemetery. You know, like at the end of the day, like your loved ones should have a beautiful place to rest, right? When when they finally kind of die, kind of die. Well, they, they they do die. It's not it's not it's not a question of kind. Of, they just die, right? But having a park, this is just a few buildings I've placed here just to kind of get a feeling for how it might look in the future when the buildings. Oh no, it is raining. Bomb diggy bomb diggy bomb. Let's just disable that. Uh, rain. But however, get some clouds in here for the moment. And I think the hearse which we just saw is for this building, which is the the Undertaker building. Kind of fits nicely. The cool thing about it is that his it has got this little passage. He also acts like a like a like a like Undertaker, right? But it has this little passage. We can maybe even build up here with some hearses in the background uh, when, we, when we get there. But just to get to the to the grave the cemetery park, from above it looks something like this. All right. Um, it's, it's it's really hard to kind of like pinpoint it as it is now because it's kind of like just empty around it. But I think once we squeeze in all the buildings around it and uh, and just kind of terraform, not the terraform, but just 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 make the land as it's supposed to be, I think it's gonna look really nice with like all the buildings and having this as a centerpiece within the buildings itself, like a park, right? We have at the stage one, two, three, four. I believe five or six entrances to this place, this park cemetery. And oh man, oh man. I it's it's busy, right? It's a little bit disrespectful going with a cycle bike. A cycle bike, what is that? With a bicycle throughout the cemetery, but uh I don't think you can ban them. So let's well we can. Is there like a no biking policy which we can add to apply to the zone or something? But it is definitely a park. There's still like bits and pieces missing here, for example, like this over here in the back of the, the, the church I've placed here. We're going to get to that as well. It's a little bit empty, but maybe, you know, having like a square like this would kind of fit the theme anyhow. And also I've added a little thing here and a lake. Isn't this just peaceful and just beautiful? I know there's a lot of bushes, but... Uh, since this is a combination uh, between a cemetery, like an old cemetery, right? This is not, not people are not going to be buried here, right? This is already full, it's just here. But uh, it's an old cemetery and a park. So, so it makes sense having like a, those beautiful oak trees growing here. Since it's been here for a while, well, big oak, oak trees, right? It makes perfect sense. This over here, <laughs> what is this called? This is the, the tomb, Grabmal von Furstenberg. I have no idea what it is, but it acts like a little like thing with hearses inside. So let it be, let it be. I do have an idea here as well. Look at this. I'm wondering if people can sit on this fountain. Now it's a prop. I don't think they will. It would be kind of kind of sweet if they could sit on it. I've added a bunch of those with the, those like the cobblestone decals. I've been thinking actually of adding the cobblestone throughout this road because I think. Let me just go and grab this. I think. Uh, please grab now. Um, let me see here. Do, do, do. Props, props, and let's just go decals. I think this is the same, same size as those roads. Man, this would not look too shabby having this, this like, this road being cobblestone throughout the whole thing. However, how does this look if we take it above the leaves? No, it's still gonna be visible. Okay, this is a project. It's gonna take a while, but man. That is gonna, yeah, that is, yeah, that is gonna look so nice. We will get there. I think I'm gonna tweak that later, later on. But one thing I wish I had in mind is taking a little tunnel underneath the, the road here, and on this side, 
making this lake, as mentioned in the beginning of the episode, part of the whole thing. And I think what we're gonna do here, not, not technically sure, but uh, not a bust, Kiralis. Maybe even this big crematorium in the far end. Because, let me just poop it down. I think we used this in the previous season. Hello? There we go. And I think it would look quite nice having it. It's like a ginormous crematorium, which is at this stage flooded. Yeah, this is bad, because now the body's gonna be, ooh, it's gonna be polluting the waters, I guess. But what do you guys think about that? Man, it's a fantastic looking building. Might not fit the theme because it's maybe just too modern for the task, but it would be such a nice, nice place here. Just overlooking the little lake we've got. That would not be a bad thing. So yeah, graves, graves, and more graves. The church here, however, it is called. If anybody wants to grab it, it is... Uh, hello, can you... Mm. Don't... Oh, please don't delete anything. This is called a Catholic, a Catholic church. And uh, that's about it. Catholic church with... Church with parish office. It has a lot of visitors. Uh oh Sound of police. Who? Oh, no. Yeah, I need to rethink the situation. I wanted to have here in this like little like a roundabout uh, middle. I wanted to have uh, like a cross of some type, but I couldn't really find any on Sydney Steam Merch. So if anybody finds like a big big cross, which would look kind of cool, let me know. Okay, this is a bell tower, and this seems to be a very popular tourist attraction because as you can see on the bottom of it, there is millions of people just standing about. And it, I wouldn't say it's driving me crazy, but it's driving me crazy. I kind of wish they would move from here. I'm not really sure how to, how to get rid of those guys. Those, by the way, as asked, are working parking lots. As you can see, you can go out here and then just turn in. We also have some working parking lots here in this little corner. And man, it's so atmospheric. I don't know. It's, it's a graveyard, all right? But it just comes to life when you add all those like little bits and pieces. Because, I mean, this is so simple to do. You just add some graves and then you just just go go nuts with grass, leaves and uh, decals, some trees in between. And uh, just just make a thing. It it is super simple. But the thing is like people ask me like your house why is it looking nice or something? Trust me like it takes time. Spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just placing stuff and eventually it it adds up and every every single detail kind of kind of I don't know gets gets into place and it looks amazing. But it takes time. So uh, yeah, you need to spend tons of time to make it look 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 well I wouldn't say it looks super nice, but at least like uh, moderate is nice. Also, this fence around it is quite a defense. Not sure I can grab it. Can I grab this fence just to see how it, what it's called? Um, let me just search for it. It is a fence with light, and it's a little bit debatable to have it or not. It is this one: concrete fence with grill and lanterns. Because this is gonna look like a Christmas tree at the night scenarios. Let me see. Clouds disabled. Hey, hey, now. Whoop, whoop. Sound of police. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. It might just be too lit up during night scenario. You guys will have to let me know. But but I think it looks nice. Like, I'm not really playing this uh, during night scenario that much. Anyhow, so it's not, it's not gonna really interfere with my, with my field of view that much, but... From the air. <laughs> yeah, look at the border around it. <laughs> oh man. Well, it is what it is. It comes in different versions. This is the concrete version I've used around here. There's also like a little like uh, darker version, which is really nice. But man, all right, it, it lights up. Everybody, I'm not gonna get bored, guys, to death. I, this is what I've been doing for the last like five, six, seven hours. I've been just placing uh, bits and pieces, bushes, graves, trees. Decals, as you can see, the, the decals are added here as well, like underneath the church. And it's a fantastic looking decal. The little cobblestone. And just imagine having this road extended, going all the way throughout here, underneath, with just using the cobblestone. That is gonna look absolutely fantastic. But man, I love it. I love this fence. Okay, don't look at the city garage, because I can just hear my, my, my computer is frying in the background. Let's just look at this this direction. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Like, hopefully I inspired somebody to do something similar. Please leave some feedback, alright? Is there anything we could add to this place? 
what would you we want to have here? Is this enough? Because yeah, can can I need to envision this with the buildings around here in the future? It's gonna be closed in with buildings on all sides, and I think it's gonna look fantastic as a park slash cemetery. And also in the future, because obviously this is old, this is full, and there's nobody gonna be buried here. But in the future, we're gonna build another cemetery somewhere about, I guess, which is kind of like the, the new cemetery where people can actually be buried uh, buried because uh, there's, there's no more rooms does it say anything on the gravestones i there's a lot of them <laughs> there's a lot of them doesn't say anything that does it now we'd be kind of cold but then again like, <laughs> that would be just too much to ask <laughs> and then it would be like <laughs> zero fps gameplay with Kiralis. everybody thank you so so much for watching let's just end a little scenic view here on the little lake i guess Man, it is scenic. See, this is what I, like, I see it when I build it. But I'm not really up and close and personal, just watching people use the, the park or whatnot. But yeah, I can just envision this in the future, when the, all the buildings are around this. This is kind of like squeezed in between everything. Like a legit park cemetery in a big, big city scenario. They do exist. Nobody's using my benches. That's kind of a shame. I don't know. Hmm, maybe this exists as like a park version. Like just a bench where you can place and people can actually use and sit. Because now I have a bunch of benches all over the place. A bunch of trash bins all over the place. But nobody's actually using them. Oh, this was a pain, by the way. This is Ronick's uh, curb props. Which I've placed all... Uh, maybe, well, maybe not all the way around. But in most places, uh, I've placed them just, just to kind of divide it up the path. Because otherwise it looks so, so ugly. So yeah, that was a little bit painful. This is the wall rock which we used in previous season. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Fits very nicely in an old type scenario. Wall rock, I think it's called, or something on the Steam Workshop. Man, it is nice. Everybody, sorry. Have I said bye 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 before? Yes, I have. Can we see BS Quicklehausen's train again? That would be amazing. Ah, I don't think we will find it again. It's a shame because it's just such a nice train. All right, smash the like button. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of City Skylines with maybe not a project next episode. I think we need to kind of get into to the, to the works and getting some more housing in and getting some people into this bad boy. Because now, please don't lag. Because now we are lacking the, the people. The people situation is very bad in the city. We need to get some people in. Everybody, have a very nice day. Kerales, over and out. Bye-bye.